Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFurdo.com with another video in the Android Car Tablet Infotainment System series. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Torque and how that works and all the cool things that you can do with it. So here you see right here on my little home screen uh, the Torque app and I'll tap that and we'll open up and here you're going to see my main Torque home page. Now, just so you know, uh, this obviously I have set up. It doesn't come this way. I set this up myself with the gauges that I want access to. Um, and of course you have to use an OBD2 adapter that you plug into your engine in order to uh, read the information from uh, your engine. And I did a review of the OBD2 adapter that I use. There are a couple, so I'll have a link in the description below to those adapters that I recommend from Amazon. There's two different adapters. They both work great. One has an on-off switch and one does not. That's the only difference. So you can click that, check out the review. You will need an OBD2 adapter plugged into your OBD2 plug on your car. That's how... Uh, this app communicates with your car to get all this information and I'll show you this in action in my car when it's connected so that you can see the gauges working but right now I just want to review the app and just show you the different features of the app this is my uh, home my uh, uh, gauge screen and I have it set up so that I have three screens this measures like 0 to 60 and quarter time 0 to 100 kilometers horsepower um, that was just built in. This I created and then uh, this is blank. I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, inside of this screen if you click the settings you have special settings specifically associated with this screen. And then let me show you what you do when you want to add a gauge. We'll go to a blank spot here. You long press, add display. You have all different kinds of displays here. Uh, dial with a needle, dial with a meter, which is what I'm using. Uh, half dial uh, with a meter, half dial with a needle. You can also do a bar display, a graph display, a uh, digital display. Then there's different widgets, an acceleration widget, compass, histogram, fuel status, secondary air status, fuel and air status, a map, echo warrior widget, raw data display, emission monitors, GPS positioning, roll meter, pitch meter, on off display, um, push button to reset your trip. Um, besides showing all the things that it shows, you can also log information about different trips using this app. So this is a pretty awesome app. It has a lot of really, really great features. Um, I'm just going to add the raw data display just so you can see what that looks like. And it does tell you this widget may cause data refresh, refresh to be slower. That's because it has so much information inside of it that it's, it's monitoring constantly. If you long press on an existing widget, you can change things about it. Move it, bring it to the front, delete it, uh, change the uh, configuration, reset the uh, recorded uh, for minimum maximum stuff. So lots of different things you can do. Just long press it and uh, we'll delete that. That's another feature I'll show you about in a minute. And we're going to long press again. I'm going to click Add Display. And uh, now we're going to select Half Dial Meter. And here are all the different sensors that you can get. Now a lot of these you're going to say, but these aren't green. Why aren't these green? That's because a lot of them uh, won't be green until you're actually connected to your car. Doesn't mean they don't work, just means right now I'm not connected to my car. So let's say fuel pressure. So we'll choose fuel pressure. Now you've got lots of different sizes, tiny, small, medium, large, large, or extra large. Let's go with medium. And you'll see, there's a medium display right there. If you wanted to move it around, you long press, you can select move display. And we can move it over to here. So it's very configurable with what you can do with it. Uh, lots of different styles of gauges. Um, and then looks, as you'll see in a minute, but you see what I've come up with uh, on, my, on my own. So let's hit the back key, and this is sort of the home screen. I have it set up so that when I open the app, it immediately goes to that other screen, but you can have it set up to go to this screen. And uh, you can look at fault codes in your engine. 
you can scan for fault codes so using that OBD2 device to connect to your engine you can scan for the same fault codes that if you take your car into a dealer what they use to scan for codes which is cool um, you can get plugins to go with the app uh, you can check the, stat the status of your OBD uh, adapter you can look at test results you can do graphing um, and you can go into a map view um, Real-time information takes you into the other screen. Now if we click the settings button on this page, this is a different set of settings. So we're going to click settings here. And you'll see you have general preferences. Um, have it show tips, have it sync through Wi-Fi with the desktop app, warn if your GPS is off. You can hide the status bar or not hide the status bar. Um, start up in dashboard, that's the thing that I selected uh, to have it immediately go straight to my dials. You can choose the number of screens you have on your dashboard. I have three right now, but you can choose as many, uh, I believe, up to uh, eight or more. Uh, you can change the confirm quit. You can have a reminder about the adapter. Um, you can have a Bluetooth bug warning. So lots of cool things there. Um, themes. Now you can have different themes. You can choose your own background image, different background images. Um, if you click choose theme, you can see all the different themes that are here. These are built-in themes. There are third-party themes you can download. Well, some of these are third-party themes, but there are third, lots of third-party themes you can download from the Google Play Store to get even further, uh, even more additional options. Um, I'm using this free theme that comes with it, Bulletproof, because I like it. But yeah, lots of options there. And then you can choose a background image and uh, uh, it just gives you information on how you can create your own themes if you want to create your own themes too. And then plugins, just different plugins, units you can change, you know, miles versus kilometers, Celsius versus Fahrenheit, etc, etc, gallons, liters, um, and then the OBD2 adapter settings, uh, speech and alarm settings, you can have it let you know about certain things like if your engine's too cold or safety warnings and uh, different uh, different things that it can warn you about if you want it to. Uh, you can have it let you know when it's at a good operating temperature. Uh, you can periodically have it scan for faults um, just to see if there's anything and it'll let you know if there's a fault code found. So that's kind of cool. Um, different things you can set, you know, it's a lot of a lot of different options you can set up in here to have this thing really be a, a great companion to your car uh, tablet to, you know, I mean if you're gonna have a car tablet and you're gonna have it in your car, why not have an app like this and an OBD2 device and take it to the next level, you know, uh, way better than anything that any car uh, that has a built-in infotainment center, their infotainment centers can't do this. So it's a good way to make your friends jealous. Um, you can have external GPS settings if you're using an external GPS and there's special settings and options that not anything that I'm worried about because those are like very very uh, specific things. But that's most of what you're going to be uh, uh, changing and looking at. Now um, it's pretty cool. I do want to show you uh, let's see, let's go over here, quit torque and show you my, you've seen my home screen before, um, but if you get uh, torque, you can also purchase a separate app that is the torque widget app and it allows you to put those same gauges that you have option to put in the torque app, you can put on your home screen as a widget. So here we are on my main uh, car home screen where I have my music controls and music player and then I have these gauges on the home screen as well. Um, so very, very, very cool. Uh, uh, so that when I'm driving, I can, even if I'm not in the Torque app, I can be in my home screen, but I can still see these various gauges. Uh, some of them are just honestly, you know, they're just for looks, they're just fun, they're just cool. I'm not necessarily using that information. And then others of them are, are kind of uh, uh, useful information. So. Uh, for me, it's honestly more of a toy than anything else, um, except, of course, if there's ever any issues with my car, reading the fault codes will be a, an added advantage. Um, but it is a very cool app, and definitely if you're setting up a car tablet, uh, an Android tablet, 
to use as a car tablet and infotainment center, then highly recommend you include Torque as part of that because it just allows you to uh, really do some cool, cool stuff uh, with your car tablet. Now you did see these little controls down here. Just so you know that is not part of Torque. That is part of another app called um, Overlays. And I'm going to be uh, doing a separate video where I explain what that app is and, and how you can use it so that now even if I'm in the Torque app I can control my music um, using that. So look for that in a future video. But that's it for the Torque app. Um, as you can see very uh, very cool app. Awesome gauges really nice uh, uh, asset to your uh, Android car tablet infotainment center and some practical uses for using it for finding fault codes or clearing that check uh, engine light possibly depending on what is causing that so really cool options so anyway that's going to be it uh, for this video uh, if you're building your car tablet now, you've got your tablet, you've got a lot of the accessories, you're setting up your home screen, I would highly recommend you get Torque and add that to it as well. And uh, then come back for the next videos where I'll be showing you how to do even more really awesome, cool things to make your car tablet better than any infotainment system you've ever seen. Anyway, that's it. Till next time, go ahead and check out my channel, subscribe to this playlist, check out my other playlist, Android app reviews, tasker tutorials, um, gadget and home appliance product reviews. Check all those out, and then uh, we'll see you back here next time. Until then, have fun with your Android car tablet.